Hi, welcome to this first video of making of a drum synth. These uh, video series where this is the first video of uh, will be an accompaniment to my main blog which is dedicated to um, building a drum synthesizer um, out of scratch. A drum synthesizer is a thing which creates uh, drum sounds synthetically. Uh, one of the famous drum synthesizers are the Roland's TR-808 or TR-909. The block itself you can find in the net under making of a drum synth.blogspot.com This first video is related to one of the sound modules this synthesizer will have. It's, uh, the first sound module I built is the bass drum so sound module. So uh, it's a sound module which just should emulate a bass drum or create artificial bass drum sounds. So let's go directly to the test setup we have here. Just briefly explained, we have a power supply which converts an AC power or AC voltage into plus and minus 12 volt. This uh, power is used for the analog uh, part of the circuit. Then we have a test trigger, trigger signal generator which is a uh, just a small Atmega 8 microprocessor which was programmed to generate a sequence of trigger pulses. Just not to have just a steady ongoing pulse but to have some variation to, to be able to to judge how, how the module will behave in the drum synthesizer itself. Then we have um, the base drum module itself which consists of some operational amplifiers and uh, some capacitors and so on. We have some potentiometers which control the sound. First of all we have the tone knob. This controls the basic frequency of the oscillator used. Then this one is not really used, it's just for testing purposes. Then we have the amount of frequency modulation. You will hear in the sound sample what I mean with this. And we have the length of the pulse itself, the gate potentiometer, and then we have the frequency modulation decay envelope. This uh, controls the how to say the, the decay of, of the frequency the oscillator has when it is triggered. So let's increase the volume. Just a little note about how the thing is connected. The output is directly connected to my stereo chain just to have a sound which is as unprocessed as possible. It's, uh, for you I think it's better that you are able to judge the sound quality of this module without any processing. So let's turn the first knob, the tone. By the way, I started with a bass drum sound, which is already quite common in electronic music. I just played around with the knobs a little bit before. So, lower tone. And then up. The highest. Then frequency modulation amount. Till now you hear that the pitch is always decreasing when a bass drum signal is triggered. So if I decrease the frequency modulation amount, the pitch isn't decreased that much. Here's no frequency modulation. We get quite a soft sounding bass drum. Let's add some again. Then here we have the gate pulse. We can make the sound sustain longer. This is the longest, and very short. And in the end, let's just increase the frequency modulation to show you 
the decay of the frequency modulation. Very short. Decrease the frequency modulation. You see, it's able to create a quite wide variety of sounds. Um, well, of course, it doesn't really sound exactly like the bass drum of a tier. 808 or 909, I think, but well, for for a first attempt, it's the first time that you will get this big quite okay. Well, that's it already. I hope you enjoyed the video, and upcoming is uh, the snare drum module, which is already built up, and it's just, uh, I'm just right now in the middle of testing it.